Editing Items in Linked Parts Since the score and parts are initially linked, edits to the score automatically apply to the parts. However, many items in the parts, such as expressions, text, and formatting, can be edited independently. In order to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to split my computer screen so we can view changes to both the score and a part as I make them. To do this, click on the Window menu, New Window. Then click on the Window menu again and choose Tile Windows Horizontally. I'll have the score showing in the bottom window. I'll click on the top window to make it active and then scroll to the soprano part. Editing items in a single part. If you make changes on a single part, the change affects that part only. Using the selection tool, if you click on a non-note marking like a dynamic, expression, or text and move it, it will turn yellow. This item is now unlinked between the score and the part, which allows independent positioning between the two. If you wish to relink the item in the part to the same location as it is in the score, right click or control click on the item and choose Relink to Score. To adjust the lyric baselines in a part, using the Lyric tool, click on the staff and use the arrow keys to highlight the verse you wish to move. The positioning arrows then appear on the left side of the screen. Remembering the different functions of each arrow, grab and drag the appropriate arrow up or down to move the lyric baseline. Editing items in all of the parts simultaneously. Since the score is the host document, any changes you make from the score can be applied to all parts at one time, so you don't have to format each part separately. From the score, use the selection tool to edit a marking or text item. I'll use the score slash part name as an example. Click and drag score to the desired location where you want it to appear in all of the parts. As you are dragging, note that the staff name in the soprano part is moving also. Context click on the same marking you just moved and choose Unlink in all parts. The marking turns yellow and is no longer linked between the score and parts, which means it has independent positioning. Click on the unlinked marking and move it into the desired position where you want it to be in the score. Let's position the composer name. From the score, move the composer name into the desired location for the parts. Then context click on the name to unlink it from the parts. It turns yellow and now we can independently adjust the placement in the score. Close only one of the split screen windows and restore the remaining window to full size on your screen. Let's scroll through the parts again to do a preview of their layout. Each part has been reduced to 90% with four measures per system. Notice that the staff names and the composer name placement is identical in all of the parts. Make any final edits if needed. Printing the score and parts. Always make sure you have saved your work before printing. That's Control S on Windows, Command S on Mac. Click on the File menu, Print, or press Control P on Windows. Command P on Mac. To print all of the parts and score, click the Check All button. To print selected parts, check the boxes for the parts and score that you want to print.
Type in the number of copies for each and click OK. Articulations, repeats, and endings are commonly used in many types of scores. The next videos will provide information on how to enter these items, as you may need to use them when creating other musical compositions.